Welcome back to Bill's Workbench. Today we have a different RC crawler on the bench. It is the one that YouTube's going crazy for, I think. Or maybe not anymore, but they are. It is the Mini Z 4x4, but this is the, this is not the one by Kyosho. This is the generic knockoff one. And uh, it's a pretty nice little, little truck, little Jeep. Uh, there are a few little things that I would want to fix about it. We'll get into that in a minute. But the first question is, is will it crawl? And let's give it a shot. Yeah, it'll crawl. It's a little quick. It's not very good slow, but it will. It'll do the job. Pretty nifty. I think what we'll do is we'll take it out to the crawl venture and give it a shot there. And then we'll come back and explore in detail. So if you're into this sort of thing, stay tuned. We're going to go to crawl venture right now. And uh, later on, we'll uh, look at it in detail and show you what I'm going to change about it to try to make it even better. Back from the crawl park, it did okay. It did better than I thought it was going to do. Um, but the tires are just horrible. So I got some new tires coming. Uh, I wish they sold tires in a five pack so you could get the back to match, but they don't, so it is what it is. Um, so I got new tires coming. And uh, let's take a look at what this thing's all about. To open it is just like the the mini Z, same way. There it is. I even went for a bath in the fish pond and survived, so that was lucky. I didn't get the electronics wet; it just squirted the back, so that was again that was lucky. Um, yeah, there it is. It's it's a mini Z. The radio is a little bit different, um, but uh, yeah. So here's the idea. The idea I have on this thing is I want to upgrade this thing as much as I can. Let's see what we can make this thing do. I've got some tires coming. I have a electronic speed control already. I have a, a radio already. I have the lipos for it, so we can get rid of all of these. I have a servo. So I have all of the parts to get this thing uh, running well. Some of the things that you should be aware of with a Mini Z and even this one is the servo on here is not a standard servo. It's a four wire servo, <clears throat> which means that three wires go there to, uh, for the power, but two wires are coming back and those two wires are actually reading the potentiometer inside. So there's no electronics inside of the servo. The electronics are all inside the radio bay. Which makes, I don't know if it's cheaper or not, but that's just the way they did it. Also, the servo is part of this battery tray. Um, I, th I thought it was quite funny, switching gears a little bit on you, squirreling a little bit, is the hook that came with it actually says on the back, copyright 
2021 Kyosho Incorporated. I downloaded the Kyosho book, and it's the same book. It's just this book is just missing the few pages in it, but everything is exactly the same. This is I've heard rumors of um, factories in China where they do off hours and they make the same thing for other companies. I bet you that's what this is. It's got to be. There's a few corners that are cut in here from the uh, from the Kyosho, but uh, yeah, I I think it's I think it's one of those. But who knows what's really going on? I I don't know. I'm just speculating. But that's what I do. But anyway, here is that car. It's pretty neat. It's a fun little toy. Uh, lots of potential with it to upgrade it and to make it something special. So uh, yeah. If you want one, I'll have the links down in the description for the AliExpress pages to find this thing. And uh, I would recommend, if you're thinking about it, act pretty quick before they get shut down by Kyosho or by uh, Chrysler for copying the Jeep. Yeah. There you go. I will uh, see you later at another video. I'm also at the... Uh, Carl Park at Friendly Hobbies, usually on Saturdays about noon. So if you want to see me there, come on down and meet me. I'll uh, see you at the Carl Park, or you'll see me here on the YouTubes.